So this is the symbol of OR gate. Here input 1, input 2 and here output. This is the pin diagram of IC7432, 7432 and in this IC having 4 OR gate. OR gate 1, OR gate 2, OR gate 3 and OR gate 4. This should be connected to the ground. This should be connected to the 5 volt. So it is pin number 1 to 7 here and 8 to 14. So let's see how to use this IC. We'll connect one LED with the output with 100 ohms resistor because we are supplying 5 volt. With the input, we'll connect one switch here. Here plus 5 volt. With the input 2 also, we will connect one switch here and plus 5 volt. We will also connect one LED. So whenever the switch is turned on, it will glow. Same like this. And we have to connect one resistor here because we are connecting to the 5 volt. Okay, 100 ohm resistor is enough. So let's see this in the breadboard. Put the IC here, pin number 1. 7, 8 and 14. Two switches, two LED for the inputs, the output LED, pin number 14 connected to the positive power rail, pin number 7 goes to ground, cathode of the LED is connected to the 100 ohm resistor and then it will go to ground, connect all the LEDs with 100 ohm resistor. Now connect input pin with the LEDs, pin number 1 and pin number 2. Pin number 3 is connected to the output LED. Connect two switches with the plus VCC. Now connect other side of the switch with the input 1 for this switch also, pin number 2. Now our circuit is completed. Connect power supply positive here and ground here. Now, we are getting one error here, if, even if we are not applying any input to the IC and I am not pressing any switch, okay? But then also we are getting output. When I press the switch, it should get the input and then it should glow. But without pressing it, the LED is glowing. So we have to solve this problem. Let's see this circuit again. Up to this we have completed but we are getting output without pressing the switch. So we have to connect one more resistor here and connect it to the ground. It is called pull down resistor and value should be not less than 10 kilo ohms. So we will apply 10 kilo ohms. For this input also we have to connect one resistor here and connect it to the ground and the value not less than 10 kilo ohms. Now let's come to the breadboard connection. So 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected between pin number 1 and ground. Pin number 1 here and ground here. Okay. One is connected and another. So we have connected our pull down resistor. Let's see again. Connect the power supply. Now see we are not getting any output here. Press input 1 here. See. We are getting output. So input 1 let's say A and input 2 let's say B and output Y and I have explained about this in the previous video about the truth table okay again let's see all the conditions 0 0 means we are getting 0 here okay so for the condition 0 1 here 0 1 press this one we are getting one output for 1 0 we are getting one output for both 1 1 we are getting one output.